Yo, what's up guys welcome back to another how to video on my youtube channel it's been a while i dropped a tutorial video on how to send a particular skin color to another skin color or how to grade or how to dodge and burn in photoshop and many others right so in today's video i'll be teaching you guys how to quickly make the skin pop out using just these three tabs basic tone curve and hsl or color mix setup in the new Lightroom. So if you've been with me here on my YouTube, you guys literally know I have a playlist on how to do a lot of stuff here in Lightroom. I'll link it up here so you guys can go and watch that. But in today's video, I want to quickly grade this, I think under four or five minutes and see how best we can do that. So the very first thing I'll do is to change the picture profile from Adobe Color to Camera Standard because that was what I shot it, right? Then I'll change my tint to five then I'll reduce my temperature so that I could get that blue feel all over the image, which probably I would fix later on, right? After that, I'll reduce my saturation. So I think minus 14 and the vibrance also follows just to take away the color. The camera standard profile added when I changed the profile. I will reduce the exposure just a bit so that I can make the image less um, bright open up my exposure a little bit, take away my white and reduce my highlights. Bring back my blacks, just a bit of information in my blacks. Then move the dehaze slider a bit this way. So, so far, this is what we've done. This is the before and this is the after. After that, I will come here. You guys know these boxes. Um, I did explain how to use the tone curve in Lightroom so you can check that one out. I'll just bring some details back into my midtones right so i just move it up a notch this way and see the before and after yeah that's doing what it has to do and now to the other of the day i think i'll show all right then i'll take a look at the skin i feel like there needs to be work done on the skin i need hair dark as possible so i'll reduce the luminance of the oranges right and also that of the reds then i'll reduce the saturation of the oranges also a bit of the reds to make her look as she has to look right then come back down open up the yellows just a little bit because that's where i can see on the sand and reduce the saturation of that to make sure the hue is towards the reds i mean the yellows the hue of the yellows are towards the red I'll bring that off the orange towards the red, then I'll tone the red, the hue of the red towards the yellow so that I can have a matching skin tone on the skin. So we have the before and after. Now we go tackle the hue of the blue. You know, with um, brown skin or with the brown color or with the color red, red is next to brown, right? So with the color red, the next thing or the complementary color to use should be or would be green and probably there's no green in this image but we can change the hue of the blue towards green right so moving this towards the t region sends it towards the green range and i don't like my blue saturated as you can see so i just reduce the saturation of the blue and just reduce the luminance of the blue making the image pop out this way as quickly as possible so you know i think this best describes how I'll do this. Let's see that with the aqua to then probably send this towards the blues. We want the aqua to look bluish, and since we've changed the hues of the blue, it will affect it as usual. Then I'll reduce the saturation of the aqua, couple it with this. Then I think I'll take away the purple and the magenta just for whatever reasons. So just these three tabs here has changed the image from this to that in Lightroom. And if you want to know what the other ones do, kindly check up or check out the video I'll be linking up here or down the description below on how to do a lot of things here in Lightroom. Thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, this channel is all about teaching you or helping you improve upon your photography skills, whether shooting, retouching or color grading, both in Lightroom and Capture One and also retouching in Photoshop. If you haven't liked, please like this video because I know it's quite informative for those who want to quickly edit in Lightroom, not to have a lot of work 
done all right and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe and my main concern is sharing this video to your other friends who might be interested in learning a thing or two about improving their skill sets in lightroom and i'll see you in my next video peace